This video is a short demo of the Bytronic Full SS tuning software. First thing we want to do here, we want to open up the program here. So this area here is your task info area. This area here where you, if you open a ROM, this is where it will show the file name. And the current ROM metadata area is where you see all your maps and where you will be able to uh, click on whatever desired map and adjust them. So the first thing you might want to do, uh, if you have a change light on now, or you want to know if you have any pending codes, you want to go up to ECU, click on the tab, and as you can see in the ECU tab here, we have uh, several functions. You can read to and from the ECU. If you uh, have first time using full SS, you will load full SS onto your ECU. You have several adaptions. You can reset or you can reset all of them at one time. You can clear DTCs, read DTCs, or reset ECU. So what we're going to do now is we're going to read the DTCs. Since this ECU is on the bench, you will have a lot of codes here. Uh, you can either turn off your ignition if you like, or you can leave it on. Hit OK. So you can see all your codes here, and it tell you the status of they're all pending, or their tests uh, running, this is validated. And if you want to clear them, you just go to the ECU tab here, and you can select clear DTCs. So we're going to clear this. You want to clear the, you can right click and hit clear. So your screen is clear again. This ECU we're working on now already have full SS loaded onto it. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a backup. We're going to want to read from the ECU. So you can either here, read tune from ECU, or you can hit the ECU tab and say read from ECU, or short key, Alt plus R. So we're going to read ECU. We hit OK. So right now, this takes about one minute to read out. It shows the vehicle's VIN number, the software base ID, which is like the hardware ID. This is your software ID and your Cal ID. The Cal ID will tell us if your car is a manual, if it's a Cooper, Cooper S, uh, CBT, or 6 b automatic. So we know to put the appropriate code in for fast data logging as we do when you load full access onto your ECU. is complete. You can either turn ignition off or you can leave it on if you like. Hit OK. So now you have some information here in your ROM metadata and you have in your ROM documents it's uh, the document here that we read out so it's read image. So what you want to do, the first thing you want to do, you want to save that. So I'm going to hit file. I'm going to say save as. It automatically goes to the full SS folder and it's called this uh, tune 1 save. So now this file name is 2.1. So if you want to know the information about your ROM, you know, it has the make, the model, the submodel. If it's a US model, a, a European model, if it's a 6 speed or 5 speed CVT, uh, I'll tell you what year it is, the ECU ID of the of the case, and the case ID. Uh, I'll tell you the internal software number which you see right here so forth. So here we have some timing maps, uh, fuel maps, limits, and some throttle parameters, intake parameters, control your fan, idle, and some miscellaneous. So these are all the tables here for the end user. So basically what we want to do now, say we want to open up the main timing map here. Your RPM here, and you have up here you have your load and your timing. So basically, you can move this around every you want. Uh, if you want help, you know you hit the help file, and it explains what the uh, what this function does or what this map does. Uh, you can either look at a 3D graph here, and basically you can scoot this over and. You See, you can spin this around in the way you want. You can just take the mouse and just hold it and spin it around the way you like. So you can see that yellow part here is this 4.12 degrees of timing. So that's where you are. That's where it is in the map. And this red up in the top here is this area here. So you can flip it around to make sense to where you want. If you
you want to close all this stuff, you can just, you know. And then to edit the map, you can either, you know, go to the uh, short keys we have here. You can increment, decrement, uh, set data, multiply data. You can in interpolate vertically and horizontally, or you can interpolate a 2D table if you want. And these is your keys that you use. Or you can manually just highlight, say, you want to go from, you know, from this point here, which is through here. You can just select these four cells if you want. If you just want to, you know, add the data, you can either go to here, or there, you can hit that key, you can see as it incremented. And as it change, you can see the numbers are highlighted. And say you're not really comfortable with that change, you want to go back to your factory one and just highlight that cell area. And it doesn't matter what, you only ha you can highlight that area or even more. And just hit Control R or you go to Edit and hit Revert, which is Control R. And then here you're back to stop. So that's a short little demo of uh, how to make adjustments. And uh, Bytronic full access tuning software.